Hey, I'm Dan Claskins here with DAV, Disabled American Veterans. We're talking with Army veteran and Vietnam veteran Bill Trujillo about his service during Vietnam and some of what he encountered there, some of the challenges you've faced after the fact. Bill, talk to us a little bit about when you went into Vietnam, what it was like when you arrived there and, and the type of things that were going on. Uh, it was uh, a monsoon season when I arrived, uh, November of 66, and uh, uh, raining all the time, uh, very depressing, uh, had rocket and mortar attacks on a regular basis in our compound, uh, real scary stuff. When you were over there, a lot of injuries that you entailed, some were at that time you knew, some popped up years later. Let's, let's take us through some of the injuries that occurred during your service? Uh, I had a head injury in 67, June of 67, through a training exercise. Uh, from the head injury, I almost lost my right eye, uh, but I still sustained uh, injuries such as uh, peripheral neuropathy, uh, ringing in my ears, uh, tinnitus, and hearing loss. Over the past several years here, uh, six years ago, you were diagnosed with PTSD. Yes. And uh, after living with that pretty much for decades, talk to us about like how you found out about that and and ultimately what led you to getting help there. Uh, well, I, I just had this anger uh, my whole life and, and rage and suffered from bouts of depression, isolation, uh, uh, you name it, addictions, multiple addictions. and. Finally went to the vet center uh, and I was diagnosed uh, after four uh, sessions with full-blown PTSD and, and I've been in recovery for the last six years because of that. You needed help, you needed the VA benefits that you earned, you had a tough time getting them, but then you found DAV. Take us through that experience and how DAV helped you and you know get the help that you deserved. Well, the same day I called the vet center the second call was the DAV, the very same day, and I met with them that same day on a Monday, and uh, they have been helping me immensely with all my uh, compensation and uh, negotiating everything that I need to negotiate with the VA uh, concerning uh, my rights and uh, everything else. PTSD not your only issue you're dealing with. You've also found out recently that you have cancer from uh, your exposure to Agent Orange. Take us through you know, your treatment there and how DAV's helped you through that process. Uh, I was diagnosed with uh, continuous T-cell lymphoma uh, December uh, uh, about 18 months ago and uh, I'm in treatment at the VA hospital in Denver and at the Andrews Cancer Center, University of Colorado. Uh, and the, the DAV has helped me with that as far as my compensation and representing me and helped me understand what my rights are and everything else that goes along with that. To our veterans out there that are watching right now, and there's many of them that follow us here on Facebook, what would you tell them about DAV and how it might be able to help them? Uh, I really think that if you have needs or uh, don't understand the DAV to contact them and to understand how they can help you in so many ways, uh, more than compensation, just, just in many, many different ways. So uh, I was uh, ignorant of them over six years ago and now I understand they're a phenomenal organization. So if you need help, contact the DAV. Definitely you can do so. If you would like to get help, you need help, or you want us to help veterans, you can do all of it visit DAV.org to learn more. Thank you. Thank you so much.